Welcome to another video where we're looking at word processors, particularly in Microsoft Word. And this video is not just for CAT students, it's for any student that's going to be doing some sort of project, whether you're at high school or you're at university, and you need to do a research component and you need to reference where you got your information from. So in this video, we're focusing on the bibliography, but before we even get to the bibliography, how we can cite our sources, in other words, use citations. So let's look at this document. It's just got some random text about Microsoft Word in this document with some random images and stuff like that. So what I want to do is I want to reference where I got this information from. I'm going to pretend that I got it from a particular website. So the first thing is you need to go to over here to references. You see I'm going to references and here you'll see the citations and bibliography. This is where we're going to work today. Now there are lots of ways of adding your citations. The first thing is uh, you can insert a citation this way but that's if you've already added the source. I haven't done that so you can go directly to add the source and then add the citation I sometimes just like to manage my sources straight away and so here is where I would click on first where I can add all the resources all the websites that I've been to all the articles that I've read and I would add them over here so here's our source manager so I'm going to add a new source now I've got a website over here so let's go look this is the Microsoft website I'm just going to pretend that I got information from here so let's have a look. So first of all, I want to click on new and try to fill in as much information as you can. You're not going to find all of it, but try to find what you can do. So this is not, there is no author for this article. You'll see here, there's no, it's a Microsoft website. So I'm not going to say that there's an author. There's a corporate author and we will just call it Microsoft because there's no reference to a name. And by the way, this is a website. So if it was something else like a book or a journal, then you can choose the, the relevant option. Maybe it's a sound recording, maybe it's an interview, something like that. So you get lots of different options. If it's not, then you go to miscellaneous. But there are lots of little options there. Like sound recording could be from like a podcast or something like that, or maybe a YouTube video. So use the correct option. Our case, this is a website. And the name of the web page, remember a website is a collection of pages where the where that's a website, where a page is one page in that website so let's have a look so this whole thing is the Microsoft website but this is the support page it looks like it's the Microsoft support page so um, it's very difficult sometimes to reference all of these to find the exact information so the name of the web page is I'm gonna call this Microsoft support and this the name of the website is Microsoft Okay, and then the year, month, and day is the year, month, and day that that article or that website was loaded. Now, sometimes that's a very difficult thing to find. Yeah, there's no reference to a date. I've scanned through the website. There's no reference to a date, so that's I've got to skip out. Next thing I need is I need the URL. The URL is the address. Now, you must give the whole address. Don't just give like google.com. That's not an address. That You need to be able to click on the link and go directly to where you got that information. So here is my URL. I'm going to select the whole thing. And I'm going to copy it. Well, select the whole thing. Not to, Don't leave that H out. Right click. I'm going to copy it. And then when I go to Word, I'm going to paste this as my URL. I'm going to right click and paste it. There's my URL. Okay, so those are the details I've got. You can show all fields. So there are other fields you can add. So I'm going to click on that and we've got a lot more options here. Maybe we do know the editor and stuff like that. But this part over here is what I would really, this is what they recommend. But we can't find the year and the month and the day that it was created. But we can find, if I scroll down, the date that we accessed it. And today's date is, today's 2022. It is April, so it's 04, and the day, it's the 5th of April. So there we go. So I've got the day that I accessed. This is important for, so for websites particularly because maybe they all come to this website a couple of months later and it would have changed. At least you can say, well, on this date, this is what it looked like. So there we go. So there's nothing else that I can really see. Let's pretend that is my, my source. I'm going to click, okay, there we go. Thank you. So there we go. So I've got one source on my list. Okay. Now I'm going to add another one. I've got another website which I can reference. I've got another one over here. How to insert smart art. This is from the Geeks for Geeks website. This has got a lot more information. I've actually got a date over here. So this is a bit more useful. So I'm going to come here and go add. Let's add a new one. This is also a website. The author, it's a corporate author. It's called, what did we say it was? It was Geek for Geeks. Geeks for Geeks. There we go. Geeks for Geeks is the company name. Geeks for Geeks. I don't know. I think the website would have it together, but for the actual name, we'll keep it separated like that. The name of the web page, I think it was Geeks for Geeks. It's just like that. Yeah. So I think it's just Geeks for Geeks. That's the name of the 
website so we'll leave it at that but this is the how to insert smart art in word so i'm selecting all that text and i'm going to copy that i'm going to use that as the name of the web page and the website is geek for geeks and the year of this not nice year is that we actually have it was 17th of december 2021 so 2021 month was december which is the 12th and the 17th of december and then i'm going to go fetch that url again so there's the url select the whole thing i'm going to copy it and paste it in my url over here and add any other fields that we've got so we as we said we've got the obviously today's date so i'm going to scroll down to today's date 2022 month access days 0405 so there we go I've gone and done those details for you so we've got all the details so i've added this as another source so i've got two sources over there and you can see there i can give you a preview of what the citation is going to look like and what it's going to look like in the bibliography if i click on each one you can see there's no year mentioned yet because obviously we don't have the year for that particular source what I'm, once I've added my sources, that's the first step. I can close this. Let's close that researcher. So I've managed my sources. And you can keep coming here and adding your sources. Um, sometimes you'll have a master list and you can just copy them across to your current list if you want to. But so here we go. Let's pretend this article was from the Geek for Geeks website. So I can literally click over here now. And go, okay, let's go add a citation. So if I click on insert citation, you'll see that all the ones that we've listed are now available. If I need to add a new one, I can add a new one. But I'm just going to go, hey, this is the Geek for Geeks. So I can click on it and it will add over there. You can see now there's a reference to this art. This paragraph comes from that source. And we can keep going throughout our document and keep adding sources. So let's scroll down. Let's pretend this one is from the Microsoft website. So I'm going to insert, hey, there's the Microsoft and go further down maybe. And let's go add another source. And let's say this one is also from the Microsoft site. And this last paragraph over here, let's pretend this one is from the Geek for Geek website. So let's go to the bottom here. Let's go here and let's reference that one. Little another tip before you start, you might want to find out what type of style, wherever whoever you're submitting your document to, um, find out what style they want their bibliography. There are lots of different styles that uh, the bibliography and the citations are done. So go look at which ones. the most common ones are APA and Harvard. So find out which one they prefer, and then you can go and set that first before you start managing your sources. So that when you insert your citations and you insert your bibliography, it matches the style for the institution that you need to do it for. So I've added a couple of citations, that's great. Uh, if Before I go to my bibliography, if I want to, you can click on a source or a citation, sorry, and you can just click on that little arrow over there and it'll give you some options. For example, you can edit the citation or edit the source. Editing the source will take you straight to managing the sources, but editing the citation means you're just changing this particular one and the options available. So maybe you want to suppress the year because there's no here mentioned. You can specify maybe this was from page two to three. If it was a book that you only got this part from pages two to three, maybe you want to suppress the author or the title, you can do that as well. And it will do that. So it took that ND away because there was no here mentioned, but it did mention which pages it referred to. So that's what you can do. And maybe for this one over here, other options are available. If you look there, we can convert it to static text. And if it's static text, now we can modify it exactly the way we want it to be. So maybe you would want this one particularly to be the website address. It's up to you. Obviously, it depends on your scenario, but those are available to you. So as you can see, just right click or when you click on the source, just go to those options and you can see that you can update. If you've made changes to your source, maybe you need to update it so that it updates all of them. But those are your options for your citations. Now that our citations are done, you go to the bottom of your document, somewhere at the bottom where you're going to put in your bibliography. And I come right, let's go to this page there. And I'm just going to come up here to bibliography and click on the options. There you can see some built-in options or you can just straight away insert. These ones will add those little headings there for you like references or works cited or bibliography. This one will just insert the data and you can create your own heading. So let's, I like this bibliography, we're going to click on that one. And boom, there we go. There's our bibliography in the style that we specified. And there are our sources. It's all laid out nicely in the correct format. And obviously, if I go and I make changes, if I go add any particular sources, then all I have to do at the end of the year is I can right click on this particular and update the citations and bibliography. And that will obviously give 
the, the option to update everything so that if any new sources were added it will then automatically add it so there we go so that's how you do a citation and bibliography so just to recap the first thing i recommend is that you go to references and you go manage your sources go insert all your sources and then once that is done so remember when you click on new and you can add them add the different types and then obviously you can edit them if there are changes but then once you've done that then you go through your document and whenever you reference a particular website i got this information from that you can insert the citation so yeah i got that from that website um, if you need to edit your citations you can just click on the citations and click on that arrow over there if you want to go change the details and then right at the end you just go to your document and you go bibliography insert and that's how easy it is to do references if you found this video useful make sure to share it with your friends leave a like leave a comment don't forget to click on that subscribe button and look at our playlist for more videos on referencing and remember don't do it the long way do it the mr long way